What good y'all? We're heading down to Southern Arizona for what might possibly be the last good weekend of the year for finding like a lot of good stuff and a lot of the seasonal summer stuff. Grasshoppers, it's grasshopper season, so looking for those. Uh, tons of cool other diversity down there, snakes and centipedes and ants and all that good stuff. So stay tuned and I'll show you everything that we find. We just found these awesome bicolored Neva Myrmex Texanus, awesome, awesome ant raiders. And right now they are raiding Fatally Titanus, which are a large species of Fatally that are also raiders, but instead of raiding other ant species, they raid termite nests. And so, because these Neva Myrmex are raiding their nest, they're raiding both the ants and termites that the ants have raided. So they're stealing the, the prey that the ants, the other ants have raided. It is so, so cool. This is really cool, guys. There's a black widow attacking the heck out of this grasshopper that got, like, caught in her web. I guess she's trying to envenomate it so it doesn't kick her with those powerful back legs. That is really, really cool. But, all right, well, it was a little bit of a fiasco trying to catch this guy, but we have a Scolopendra Heros in this year capsule. You can't really see him. You maybe see a little tiny orange leg in there, but we'll show you him a lot better later. So, very, very cool. Super, super, super good starts of the night. So I told you guys that I'd show you this little guy later, and here he is, this beautiful giant desert centipede, who, of course, at the moment is not not very giant, but he'll get there in good time. These guys are probably my favorite non-ant bug that we have in Arizona. I absolutely love them, and I'm sure that you can see why. That coloration is just stunning. Not to mention that the fact that these guys can get up to 10 inches long in some cases. Um, this guy's only about probably two and a half inches long, but has some of the most stunning and deepest reddish orange coloration that I've seen on one of these centipedes before. That body color is so, so vibrant. Even when they're, they're always more vibrant as babies, but even this one is, is really, really, really vibrant. So... Overall, super happy about this, and I'm a little sad that I'm not going to be the one keeping it, because uh, my friend here has been looking for one for a long time, and I already have three of them. So, uh, this guy will be going off to a good home, though. Look at this. So, I mean, it's going to be hard. I'm not getting any closer to that. But those are yellow jackets in a big hole. In case you didn't know, yellow jackets are subterranean. They make their nests underground, and that is exactly what we are looking at right there. That is so cool. And they're kind so of unsettling. <laughs> Thankfully they're uh, diurnal, because if it was during the day, they would be maybe all over the place. Wow. <laughs> so, just found this female, I believe it's a Phytopus octopunctatus. Really, really cool gray large jumping spider one of the biggest in the country uh and yeah just a cool fuzzy little jumping spider i thought i'd show you guys look at that really 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 nice looking i have an important announcement to make i have caught a silly little creature <laughs> a, a little dubious guy little man <laughs> He's just running around in the grass. And now I have him in a cup so I can take pictures of him. Look at him, guys. Isn't he cute? Check this out, y'all. This is not something you see all the time. Flipped a paper wasp colony. This is definitely why you need to be careful with what rocks you flip. But, yeah, just, uh, some, some species of paper wasp, I'm not entirely sure. Pretty cool, though. We have finally found the elusive rainbow grasshopper. Been looking for this sucker for a while now. This one is really orange. Did find one of these here last time I was here. You should totally check out that video. It's super awesome. But glad we were able to find another one. After all, it is grasshopper season. 
So hopefully there will be more of these to come, but if not, I'll take it. Very, very, very pretty grass on here. So right here we have some Tenure Roaster Termites, Tenure Roasters, the Arizona Nassute Termite. These guys are a favorite of mine because of those soldiers that have the pointy heads that shoot off def uh, noxious substances as defense. But you notice that they are foraging on the surface, which is very uncharacteristic of termites. This genus, Tenure Roaster Termites, are the only termites in, in the United States, that I'm aware of at least, that forage above ground. They come out at night and they forage for small bits of decaying plant material, mostly these dead grasses you can see all over the place. And they take them back into their nest to eat. We got number two, Rainbow Grasshopper. Look at him. This one's a little bit more diversely colored than the last one. A little bit more, a little bit more rainbow, which we like to see. Very cool stuff. Number three. <laughs> yeah, we got number four. Number four. So we found a snake, a Tantilla species. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it's, well, I'm actually quite positive that it's a species I've never seen before and never featured on the channel before, which is really exciting. So, just a nice little centipede-eating snake with that cool ring around his neck. And I, go ahead and flip him over. I want to show them the the patterning is interesting because the, the orange, like, just kind of fades away. Normally they're orange on the whole underside, but this guy, uh, the orange just, like, stops halfway up his body, which is really cool. So, very, very interesting, cute little snake. We're going to go ahead and let him go and keep looking. Check this out, y'all. We just spotted... A banded rock rattlesnake. One of my favorite snakes in the state of Arizona, right there. So pretty. Check this snake out, folks. Yeah, I'm way out of its strike range. That is beautiful. Okay, we just cruised this really super yellow black tail rattlesnake. Yeah, here, take the, just film, film. Try oh. to get this guy. Yeah, don't get that close. He's pissed, but I want to make sure that we can see him on video. Look at that thing, man. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> he is so unhappy. He's launching his whole body at us. But that is such a cool looking snake, man. That's like the yellowest molosus I've seen, yeah. It's so yellow. I feel like every time I see one, it's prettier than the last one. Awesome. <laughs> so that is all I have for you in this video. I think it was a pretty decent one. Got some pretty cool stuff. Really not that many ants this time, but that's not too surprising because it was really, really dry. But I hope you enjoyed it anyways. Uh, of course, if I find anything else on the road, you'll have seen it already, but that's not important. Uh, what is important is that you should like the video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys next time.